so you're performing in the salon in November, November 14th and 15th, and um, you have a new piece that you've created or you're creating. Um, can you ex give us the title of that and explain what um, you're dealing with and how your what your um, ideas? I don't have so much time to call it a piece. Okay. It's kind of something I need to share with all of you. It's okay. It's That's great. Show. It's a it's like a point. I, I, I really like choreography a lot about like a poem, like a writing a poem. Um, and it's the, the title is and they, and they forgot to love. And I definitely took it from this painter that I really like. Uh, called, um, her name is Margarita Dumas. She's Poland South Africa painter. And she was talking about artificiality in, in the in the in our generation. Mm -hmm. And I was very inspired by what she said and I was Related somehow of my present, somehow what you said about and they forgot to love related to, to my present is about and how how much lack of um, death are in, around, how much and how much fetishes and how much oh, it's all these kind of things that worry me or try me or something. And I just wanted to experience just go there and from zero. Just, rem just repeat the title in my mind and just go to the stage and just move. And it's so much that it's like a vomit of feelings uh -huh. and, and ideas and, and qualities of movement that you don't even know you have in your body. And I think that was the first idea. That was what I did in Berlin. That was okay. a lot. Like, just take the title and just go for it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm kind of developed more the idea and putting different, you know, putting in a structure a little bit more uh, study. More, more, more in my yeah. Who or what inspires you to choreograph and influences you as a choreographer? Oh, I never like to mention names because I think people then compare compare these names with your work, and I don't think that that's the point. But I have to mention that I definitely have a very an indirect influence of Trisha Brown work in my choreography. And I call it indirect because I have a lot of reference with other choreographers and other companies mm -hmm. of, of something that I didn't know it was Trisha Brown or I didn't know it was American or I didn't know it was here. And I know that I am Trisha Brown is very interesting to see the origin of all that movement, of the boundary thing, of the geometric thing, of the abstract thing. And it was very interesting how I can be very uh, motivated by this. I don't really try to, to do anybody's choreography or, or, or follow anybody's influence yeah. directly. Like when I work, it's more, I, my work is a lot about my presence, uh, what is working me, what is uh, inspire me, what makes me think and develop and, and make me, makes me create my, my old work was a lot about doing this complicated virtuosic phrase, technicality phrase, and then break it and find the moment that I have to start from zero and improvise from that point to zero. I didn't have anything to follow. Mm -hmm. And I really have to find what inside, very deep. Mm -hmm. The other thing is I'm very interested in death, in human beings. I'm very interested in what, what makes you do this and that. And I think I call it death. Death, D-E-A-T-H, yeah. death, yeah. yeah. And I think that's the same reason that when I go to see a show, somebody inspires me, somebody influences me, or I like a lot something better than others, because I am, when I see death and presence and, and interaction and, and life, I just get very attracted. Mm -hmm. If you had to create a dance about a vegetable, <laughs> what vegetable and how would you go about creating it? Oh, I, I, when I read the question, <laughs> the first vegetable that came to my mind yes. was carrot. Because, I don't know, for if it's nothing to do, but... Raw or cooked? <laughs> it was, I don't know, because it's, it's crunchy and it's orange and it's sharp somehow. And I don't know, it's kind of related to me in some aspects. And it's orange, but at the same time you touch it and it's very hard. And then you eat it, and it's very hard to to to. to mm. How you say this? Uh, uh, chew. 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 And I don't know. And I can. And I am kind of. It's kind of like that. Like it means it has like a cone, mm -hmm. geometrically. That means there's a lot that you can take from that. Mm -hmm.